What up, America? It's your boy, Chuck Johnson, a.k.a. Kid Thunder. So, over in a town called Weed, California. Yes, that's an actual town called Weed, California. Uh, there's a pastor by the name of uh, Justin Hoke from uh, Pres Trinity Presbyterian... Uh, church, I forgot the actual name of it. Uh, he was removed. The pastor was obviously removed from that particular church. Because, literally because of his stance against uh, homosexuality. He said things like, I mean, on the church's marquee, he actually stated, Bruce Jenner is still a man. Homosexuality is still a sin. Um, the culture may change, but the Bible does not. Now, what he's actually saying is this. You know, I don't think he's re I don't think he's really promoting bigotry, promoting bigotry as what you know some some people out there, especially if you happen to be liberal or leftist, you know, would think. But let's just say this. I mean, there is such there is such thing as liberal Christianity. And, you know, liberal Christianity has been a thing, has been something that's that's pretty relevant in as a recent history in the modern day church. But let me just say this. You know, you know, why the I mean the I'm gonna just say this. Now I am a born again Christian, you know, and it's like this. I support traditional marriage. You know, and I take a stand against the homosexual lifestyle. You know, simple as that. Now, let me say this. I love homosexuals, but I disagree. I am in total disagreement with the lifestyle they live. I mean, you know, I do believe that, you know, there are only two genders, male and female, and all these... 50 some odd other genders are just literally mental disorder. I mean, I mean, as simple as that. I mean, I can't lie. I can't lie and say, I can't lie and say that, uh, that I, but whatever. But it seems that nowadays, you know, Christian, I mean, I don't know, ever since the Obama administration, Christianity has literally been under attack. Now, unless if you're a liberal Christian, you wouldn't think so. But, in all seriousness, Christianity as a whole has been, has been under attack. And, and, uh, this pastor, Justin Hoke, you know, would be considered a, a fine example where he's being attacked, you know, you know, as a Christian, as a Christian himself. I mean, as a pastor. Now, I'm going to say it like this, you know, years, but of course, Christian hate groups do exist. You know, of course, you got those type of individuals with the Bible and microphone in their hand saying things like, you're a sinner, you're going to hell, you know, and blast, you know, and put you down because of whatever sin you commit, you know. I mean, I've seen that. I've seen people like that when I lived in Chicago, all right? Um, I mean, yes, you got, I mean, 
I mean, sin, now I'm going to say this, sin does not rank in number. I mean, so to speak. I mean, all sin is sin. Now, granted, in the book of Leviticus, um, God calls the homosexual lifestyle abominable. And in the book of Romans, God calls the homosexual lifestyle unnatural. I mean, I mean, I'm I'm just saying. I mean, but uh, but to but you also got Christian hate groups like um, what is this? The Westboro Baptist Church, which you know I haven't heard from them in years, and you know I could really care less about them either. Because they don't, they really don't represent Christianity either. I mean, you know, you you got them going out there, you know, picking in at funerals and and you know, particular soldiers, you know, especially if they happen to be gay, you know, you know, you got them, you got them throwing signs up saying things like. Um, you know, God hates, you know, fags and and thank God for dead soldiers and all that kind of stuff. I mean, those guys don't represent Christianity. I mean, real jive. Now, I'm gonna say this. What the what the pastor was simply doing is this, you know. He's simply trying to tell folks that, you know, stop trying to believe in all of these, uh, I mean, worldly, worldly jive, you know, you know, stop trying to, stop trying to believe that, you know, Bruce call me Caitlyn Jenner is a woman when he's still a man. I mean... He's not, he's not, I mean, he's also trying to say that, uh, you know, you don't have to be the type of individual where, you know, I mean, it's like this, like I said before, I'm a, I'm a born again Christian. And I, I've also said this before, I love homosexuals, but I disagree with the lifestyle they live. I mean... I mean, my point is this. I mean, if you look at this situation as a whole, there's a difference between, you know, disagreeing with somebody's lifestyle, but you can still love that particular individual, regardless of who they, regardless of who they are. It's like this, you know, love the sinner, hate the sin. I mean, and... It's also this too. Disagreement does not mean hatred. I've said I've said that a while back in the video. But uh yeah. I mean but the thought of a pastor who who is simply going by his morals of what he believe in and gets kicked out of a church because he don't support the sinful lifestyle of the world is just downright ludicrous. I mean, I mean, straight up. Last time I checked, the Bible says, love not the world, nor the things of this world. Last time I also checked, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. That's what the Bible says, too. What are your thoughts? What are your comments on this? I'm Chuck Johnson, A.K. Kit Thunder. I'm signing out. You guys take care. I'm out. The link to the article will be in the description.